Hey guys, this is Reese Trenhill for the Vanguard team at Vander Realty. As always, if you're seeing this video, you can probably click below to subscribe or like. Uh, you'll also find a ton of landing pages to things like our exclusive listings, which you can only get through us. You'll never get through the MLS. And uh, that is one way to help you get wealthy. With us today is Tori McKay. She's one of my favorite people that is a new transplant to Windsor. Um, she, she came down here for two reasons, which I'll let her explain. Uh, but she's a property manager that has a specific niche that's allowing us to crack the code. We have figured out how to cash flow again, and we're cash flowing extremely well. And this is something that not only are we uh, encouraging our clients to do, we're doing ourselves on our own income properties and we're increasing the cash flow. And uh, it's allowing us just to just to kick butt and take names. So Tori, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, I so uh, please tell us what you do and why you're here in Windsor. Well, I started out in Sarnia years ago, and it was to furnish properties and lease them out to contractors for Chemical Valley. They would come in for a startup or a new plant that was being built, and they needed accommodations. They didn't want to stay in a hotel, and they needed uh, properties. So, so, so we've got a problem, right? We've got a problem. Exactly. We got these guys that they live somewhere else. They live somewhere else, guys. But they were coming to Sarnia, to Chemical Valley, temporarily, right? Maybe it's six just, month contracts, maybe one year contracts, and that's what they Tori turned was. into three years. Right. So now you're down in Windsor doing the same thing. Exactly. I came okay. to Windsor because I knew that that uh, Windsor was just like exploding with opportunities and people just I don't get it man it. yeah oh 100 percent. and i it. also have my daughter and my son-in-law my two beautiful grandchildren yeah. so it was a win-win to come and be close to my grandkids when, when, when and, she says her two beautiful grandchildren you have to understand that her daughter was like a, a, a top top beauty pageant <laughs> contestant and i know the guy that married her and i can say this platonically uh, never has Windsor seen a squarer jaw than, than your son-in-law. So <laughs> yeah, when she says all oh, my beautiful couple. grandchildren, she's not just saying that. There's some good genetics working here, guys. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Not why you tuned in today, but yeah, just as an aside. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So so so, with, so coming yeah. back to it, yeah. So tons of business, tons of these contractors, tons of your old clients. They're all coming down here, and now it's kind of funny because yeah, they've got a problem which is to try and find somewhere to live. But you've got a problem. You've got a bigger problem than you've ever had. I have a huge problem because I have more clients than I have properties. I had that problem in Sarnia. It is worse in Windsor where they just constantly are calling me the same clients. They're on route from Edmonton, Nova Scotia, and they're on the phone to me and they're saying, Tori, find me properties. And I say, okay, what's your budget? What's this? What's that? What are your yeah. needs? And yeah. then I'm out searching, looking for properties. Yep. And you yourself were kind enough to give me a property so that I could furnish it. <laughs> That's how it started. Yeah. Little it guinea is. Pig. Guys, it I'm always is. the guinea pig. I'm always the guinea pig for the exactly. entire team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And your team has been phenomenal where... Like, for instance, Stephanie Saunders, who I work with a lot, yeah, oh, she yeah. will have an investor and say, Tori, come and have a look at this property, see what kind of money we can generate, see what kind of cash flow we can do with the furnished rentals, with the right. mortgage rates so high. This is a new route to make more money. And, and yeah. And, uh, okay. So you just nail it. And I hate that it took us four minutes to get to this. But guys, <laughs> they pay more money. So it doesn't help as much, interestingly enough, with the one bedroom units, unless it's like a supervisor or an executive, right? They're exactly. the ones that are going to have their own house. The trades guys are actually probably way more in number and, and quite frankly, uh, more profitable when it comes to the two bedroom and three bedroom units in particular. 100%. 100%. Right? So right now, as this recording is playing, guys, uh, a two bedroom unit rented out the traditional way. We'll rent out uh, the median, I think average median uh, two-bedroom rent is about 1900 in Windsor. Correct. And 
uh, with two of your tradesmen in a two bedroom house, you're at 2,800. And higher at times, minimal 28, but usually like yeah. lately I've been doing t just under three grand. So guys, if you don't know me yet, you don't know my team yet. Yeah, we're salespeople, but we're actually pretty small C conservative with our numbers. So Tori just busted me. I, I like under promising and over delivering to the, the investor. So I was using, yeah, I was using the minimum numbers. Um, three bedroom, uh, we still use 3,900 as a good safe uh, assumption, 1,300 per trades guy. Yes, trades you're gonna person. make the most with a two bedroom. Yeah. Because I mean, that's the higher demand. They don't sure. wanna share as much. However, sure. with there not being enough properties, supply and demand plays yeah. in, they take them. So that's interesting. Yeah. So two, two is the golden, the golden number. That's where we're going to end up outfitting most of them. Right. Um, and then people are going to ask me, uh, you know, what's the minimum lease term? It typically is six months or one year. It can go as low as three months, but right now it's been six months and I have a lot of men coming in right now asking for one year. And, and you, believe it, you know, I used to say, OK, two bedrooms. But this last last week, it was I need a one bedroom, one bedroom. I'll take it unfurnished if I have to yeah. I need a property. Find yeah. me something. Well, I mean, we had those two French Canadian electricians. They were desperate. Right. And uh, they had to take in a couple of rooms in in my uh, in my building. And I mean, really, I'd moved on from you know, uh, uh, live workspaces, but that's, we kind of outfitted a couple for them and just exactly. out of desperation guys. Cause there's nowhere else for them to go. Like, yeah. And now we uh, have your university property to do. I, we do, we do. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I would love to continue to, you know, rent out the traditional way as well. And I think people that already own income properties here, they're perfectly comfortable doing that. It's just guys, if you've got you like a four, unit building and you want to add an extra five hundred dollars a month in cash flow right this is the way to do it but why we love it more than anything is because if we're selling a duplex or a triplex and it's not cash flowing under the traditional way we all know now we've all seen the, the predictive models that interest rates are going to keep coming down now that we've hit this apex uh you know inflation looks like it's back under control and you're going to start seeing the interest rates through 2024 and 2025 decreasing. Okay, great. But that doesn't mean I can buy an income property today that's cash flowing, even though I really want to. What you're going to find is that right now, uh, using traditional ways of renting, we're just like any other city in Ontario. You can't cash flow with just putting 20% down on your money, getting an 80% loan to value mortgage. You can't cash flow. At best with us, you're kind of breaking even or making $100 a month. But now here comes Tori with her pain point with her problem and the problem of all these workers. They need places to live just like everybody else. And so if we're providing those those places, all of a sudden, guys, it, you know, like let's say you've got a duplex and each unit's two bedrooms. And normally you'd be renting those out at 1900 bucks each a month, right? For $3,800 a month. Great. Okay. Before your expenses. Now you're renting out each of those units for 2,800 and you heard Tori, oh, it's higher than that these days. Well, let's just assume it's still 2,800. Now you're at 5,600 instead of 3,800. You're, you're $1,800 more a month, guys, on a duplex, right? Let's, let's subtract uh, $300 for electricity a month, right? You're, you're then at 5,300 versus 3,800. That's an extra $1,500 a month. Guys, you're cash flowing and you're cash flowing really well. And here's another awesome thing is they're not going to stay in your property for five, six, seven, eight years as rents keep going up and you can't capture that, right? They're gone after six months or they're gone after a year. Well, now you can re-rent the unit at the higher rents. And again, if you've been paying attention to our videos and you've been paying attention to the predictive models, right across Canada, they're predicting rents to continue going up because of a lack of housing, right? So as these tenants, um, as these tenants sort of vacate, you're going to be able to reset your rent now at the higher amount, right? And you're going to be able to keep doing that probably for about the next half decade 
as the tradespeople keep coming into town to build our international bridges, our new freeways, our new freeway exits, our $2 billion mega hospitals, all the factories. If you're talking about Amazon, Amazon's doing a 240,000 square foot facility now, right? Or the big, the big battery plant or the supporting plants to the battery plant, which are going to be more than the actual battery plant, even though it's the biggest battery plant in North America. Like, guys, I can't express to you how much is coming to the city. And we got to house these workers. Where are they going? We have a net effective vacancy rate of zero. Am I wrong? Right? Tori, I mean, you know that we got oh, a net effective rate of zero. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Huge problem for them. And they and as yeah. I say again, they don't want to stay in hotels. They want it right. to feel like home. To home away from home. Yeah, they want that they want that love seat or that that uh with lazy boy. You want the lazy boy, they want the TV, they want their Netflix already programmed into the TV, they want some food in the fridge, a couple beers waiting for them, right? Is that sort of hundred percent roll out the red carpet. Right. And that's right. why it's been very, I, I've been extremely fortunate is that they just keep coming back to me because they yeah. get the service. Right, right. Oh, and I, I should express this, guys. It's not like you can come swaggering down here and just do this, right? You, you got to work with sort of people that know what's going on. Uh, for example, there's a part of town right now where I may not do this, right? There's a couple wards where you know, you got to be careful because the city's trying to bring in sort of licensing for students. So you want to avoid that. Uh, the, the other um, the other thing is as well is uh, our team, the Vanguard team, are one of 20 groups or associations working directly with the local development commission. Right. We've met with the 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 uh, stakeholders in the battery plant, for example. We've all met with them. We know what their needs are, right? You're not going to get that just kind of waltzing down here and saying, I'm going to call the listing agent. And it's like, oh, good luck. <laughs> That's not how it works, right? So take advantage of Tori's knowledge. Take advantage of the knowledge of my real estate agents, in particular, Steve Jerush. He's our number one agent in Windsor for two unit to six unit multifamily. And he's aces at uh, student rentals as well. Stephanie Saunders is the only agent I'm aware of in Windsor that focuses on house, adding additional dwelling units. She knows that building code man back and forth, and she knows who to call, and she knows who to get answers from, and she knows who to design it. She just boom, 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 boom. The only, my, only, my only warning with Stephanie is you work with Stephanie, she does not suffer fools lightly. So if you get foolish, she's going to tell you. And then if you come crying to me that, oh, Stephanie's being mean. No, no. Stephanie's being blunt. Yeah. There's a difference. She's yes. being blunt. She will throw nothing but 96 mile an hour fastballs down the middle of the plate at you. And if you don't like the fastball, in other words, if you don't like what she is telling you, then it's because you got to change your reality to actual reality. You're living in a dream world. And I, I know that sounds harsh, but we see it all the time. People that like just overanalyze everything and, you know, distrust everyone instead of trying to build a team of the professionals. And Tori, you know this. Mm -hmm. We want to make you wealthy through real estate investment in Windsor because the wealthier you get, the more properties you buy and the more commissions we make. Exactly. So even if you don't trust what we're saying, trust that, that this is capitalism, baby. We have a vested interest in making you wealthy, right? If nothing else, if you don't know us from Adam, and I know you've probably run into scammy and slummy real estate agents in your careers, I get it. There's tons of them out there. We have a vested interest in a greedy interest exactly. and a selfish interest in your success. Exactly. Right? And yeah. a perfect example, Steve, he just introduced to me to one of his investors Yep. And we're going to be turning four properties side by side on the river for the for the contractors. I can't wait for it to be finished. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. I think I know which one you're talking about. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, yes. cool. Yeah, and then, I mean, Sadie's the last one to talk about here. You're, yes. you're dealing with Sadie right now on a few. And Sadie was our first 
agent just last week. I mean, I'm just retort. We, we're just starting this really to promote. Now that we're comfortable that it works, now we're promoting it to you guys heavily. Like it works. Um, but Sadie was the first one to get a mass email out to the client base. And it was with a, she. so she sells more condos and townhouses than anybody in Windsor. All right. She's very good at it, using condos and townhouses. And guys, if you're a rookie investor and you find yourself freezing all the time, right, over analysis paralysis or just fear in general, and you really want to invest, but you're freaking out. Windsor's 400 kilometers away from Toronto, man. And just relax. Buy the most boring real estate investment on the planet. Buy a condo. Rent the it out to two. Love them. There you go. And then rent it out to one to two of Corey's tradespeople or Tori's tradespeople. Corey, who's Corey? Yeah. Uh, Corey's your new name, Tori. Um, but you rent it out to a couple of Tori's people. You're cash flowing. And it's simple because, guys, it's a concrete box. The only way you're going to screw up the concrete box is if you buy it in a building that is badly run, which is, um, I would say, about half of them. But again, Sadie knows which condo buildings for you to go into. She knows which ones have, you know, safe reserve funds and are well run. And also for exit strategy, she knows which buildings turn over uh, quite comfortably. So when you are ready to sell, you're not going to be waiting a year to resell it. She knows which buildings to put you in where there's enough of a demand perpetually in any market where they, they, you can turn it over. So those are the, those are the three people guys based on, and again, I I'm really pushing condo now uh, for rookie investors. Um, and I know there's a few of you watching this right now going, yeah, he's talking about me. You know, I've wanted to start investing for two years. I've read every book. I've watched every video. And yeah, it, at some point your education has to extend to actual ownership guys. And uh, there's no better time to do it really with us because of the Tory effect where we're able to, you know, really make you guys uh, cash flow at a large, large amount. And that builds a safety of investment that we weren't able to provide even two months ago. Right. You have anything to, uh, to add before we wrap it up? My biggest message to the investors is take the opportunity now and invest great cash flow and you're going to be happy. You yeah, are well, so far so happy. good, right? I yeah. will make you money. I, I, I will uh, make I've you seen, money. <laughs> I've <laughs> seen so far uh, how well it's gone for us being the guinea pigs and then how well it's gone for some of our clients that were early adopters of this with us. And uh, yeah, there's no frowns, guys. Yeah, there's there's only smiles like the, 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 even like the wear and tear on your property is greatly reduced because 100%. they're barely there. Yeah, they're working 12 hours a day, Monday seven days Thursday. a week. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. They're either here like seven days a week until they're done or they're here, you know, five days. But on the fifth day, they don't even go home. They drive straight to the 401 home to go see the exactly. kids. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys. Yeah. So the wear and tear is no reduced. Pets. The prop What's that? No pets. No pets. Yeah. And. <laughs> They'll never hold you hostage. Like there's no like slow, uh, you know, uh, career dirtball tenant uh, risk. You know, they're going home, man. This is not their home. This is their crash pad while they're working. They're going home. So you'll never get that deadbeat tenant that, and guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but the Ontario Housing Tribunal is backed up by nine months right now. Mm. So if you get a deadbeat tenant, <laughs> unless you're able to pay them out, and that's another video that I did. Um, yeah, you're in trouble, but, uh, Tori and a couple other property managers that we trust in town, uh, really, really keep our investors out of, out of trouble. And, uh, I can't, I can't remember the last time one of our tenants or one of our clients has had to go to tribunal. It's been a long, long time, you know, but they're at tri tribunals all the time with other real estate agents, which we won't mention. So, yeah, Tori, I appreciate you uh, joining us guys. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us and get in touch with Tori, and jump on the train. Uh, there are links below. Reach out and uh, we'll get you set up. And Tori, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I really you. hope we got the message out today to everybody. Thank you. I do thank too. you so much. I do too. Thank you so much for inviting me.